One of the miracles of Allied supply, the English Channel Pipeline, can now be revealed. Long lengths of flexible steel pipe carried part of the million gallons of gas delivered daily from the Isle of Wight to the French coast. The original idea was conceived by British engineers, who also utilized lead piping somewhat similar to a submarine telegraph cable. Three inches in diameter, the pipe was thoroughly insulated from sea action. Captured Nazi officers credited the undersea pipeline with being one of the main factors contributing to the downfall of the Wehrmacht. Following a test operation, cable ships began paying out the pipe soon after D-Day. Both lead and steel tubing, much of it made in America, were used to carry the vital fuel to our fighting fronts. The pipe, wound on huge drums 30 feet in diameter, was released while being towed across the channel. The Luftwaffe was missing on this occasion also, and the first line crossed in 10 hours. Near the tip of the Normandy Peninsula, the pipeline comes ashore. Altogether, 20 lines were soon providing a constant fuel supply. Carefully camouflaged buildings in the southeastern part of England hid pumping stations from enemy eyes. Delivered close to the actual fighting front, the fuel kept our planes, trucks and tanks operating on the drive on Hitler's Reich.